the file. Sure. Uh, yes, it's a um, uh, retrograde spinal cord stimulator for radicular uh, bacteria. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a uh, 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 Do you like uh, to solve uh, puzzles? So do I. So refuse, uh, there's two different problems with this spinal cord stimulator placement. One of them is a uh, lead migration. I wanted to meet Sam uh, from nearby cemetery. He would help us uh, to demonstrate the problem. Uh, when a uh, spinal cord stimulator plays traditionally, it plays from the lower board up. Here, here. Um, now imagine if uh, uh, Sam uh, woke up of anesthesia and then uh, got up from our table, um, he would go back to, press, uh, to tie his uh, shoelaces and uh, he is going to press his back. If the lead migration is significant, uh, this could lead to a lost pain coverage and we will have an unhappy Sam and very unhappy doctor. Uh, I wanted to present a case in which uh, creative thinking helped me, help my patient and possibly solve the problem illustrated by Sam. I was doing a procedure on a patient who previously had spinal cord stimulated inserted surgically. It was removed due to infection and this probably caused the development of adhesions in the epidural space. Uh, so uh, I was able to place the first uh, wire of the C vertebra, but placement of the second one was a challenge. It didn't go above uh, T10 vertebra. Uh, both uh, wires were tested for the pain coverage and it was found to help uh, uh, some leg pain but not the back pain. Uh, what should I do next? Uh, Abort the procedure and explain to the patient that I did my best. One cannot make a soup from a chicken salad. Keep trying till I either succeeded or get a letter from the patient's attorney. Try something else. As you know, I did something else, otherwise I wouldn't stand in front of you. This is what was done. Um, the roll was placed on the patient's shoulders uh, to help to bend the neck, thus facilitating middle placement. You can see the difference between bended neck and unbended neck. The spaces here are bigger. Uh, I placed my needle at the lower edge of uh, C7, uh, C7 uh, laminar and uh, uh, redirect needle help uh, cephal. That's allowed needle teeth to slide into the pituitary space. The rest was easy. Uh, I slide the epidural cut, spinal cord seal like a lead, uh, down uh, T8 vertebra. Uh, a year later, the patient uh, complains from left shoulder but not uh, the back pain. Uh, her uh, uh, range of activities increased significantly and uh, her total consumption decreased as well. Uh, we want to employ poor Sam again. Uh, when, uh, when spinal cord stimulator placed from, uh, from the neck down, uh, it's uh, anchored above the target area, you can see it here. When it's placed traditionally from the lower back up, it's anchored below the target area. Now see the difference. When Sam bent his neck, he put the wire up, and this much. When he bent his lower back, he put the wire down, and this much. Uh, in other words, there is uh, less risk of uh, lead migration when the wire plays through the neck than when it's placed traditionally through the lower back. Uh, in the case presented, there was some uh, upward lead migration, but it wasn't significant, and the pain coverage wasn't close. Uh, to conclude, um, spinal cord stimulator placement using a retrograde cerebral approach can be used when traditional approach failed or when um, uh, spinal cord stimulator lead migration is a big concern. However, further clinical studies are needed to balance between the advantages of this new approach or the risk of utilizing cervical spine for the needle placement. Uh, thank you for your attention. If you want to know more on this subject, please uh, take a use of the article that was published in the Journal of Pain Medicine this year. Thank you. Yeah, this is a new one. Um, we've uh, got time for maybe a question or two. Is there any questions? How do you place a needle? Do you use lots of resistance? Yes, I do. Or do you use yes, direct view?
I put my needle at the lower edge of the seven laminas, then I kind of redirect my needle with that flush. That's allowed. There is no uh, much room for the needle. So it basically slides from uh, so from the upper edge of the lamina into the epidural Okay. And the lead has to make a sharp angle. That's why, that's why I use the epimer uh, 14 gauge needle. It allows you to uh, push the needle in up. So when you put it like this, you kind of uh, help yourself uh, to push the needle up. Okay. All right. Uh, the, the needle used in RX today. It's a good needle. 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 It